Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to have a conversation about Nicki Minaj, allegedly soon to be Mrs. Nicki Minaj Petty. And I also wanted to have a very necessary conversation on hypogamy, a term that a lot of women are not familiar with. But let me first start out by saying that any woman who encourages you to downgrade yourself, who encourages you to significantly date down or beneath yourself, or who eggs you on to go dumpster diving for love, or who encourages you to hustle backwards is not your friend. She is a frenemy and she doesn't like you. So for my listeners, hypogamy in a nutshell is dating down or marrying beneath your status. And unfortunately, it is a very common and acceptable practice in the black community for women to date and marry uh, men who are beneath them in terms of income, wealth, and stature. But it always backfires because so many black women act out of desperation and will do anything to have the quote unquote black love and so many women don't have standards and they do not understand what constitutes a true husband material and yes all races of women marry and date beneath themselves every day and women marry for love and sex every day and women marry weak men that they can control every day and yes there are plenty of women who get caught up in how they're dusty and their felon bay can put it down in the bedroom particularly with black women because with us the roles are often reversed and it is very common for black women to give their men money in exchange for quote unquote good d and a lot of women get caught up in that dynamic because a man who is packing uh, can temporarily make a woman lose her mind so a lot of women get caught up in lust and i get it you know lust is euphoria uh, sexual chemistry and passion is a great experience to have and a great experience as a woman uh, to get out of her system. But the problem with lust is that it has a quick expiration date. Uh, lust is a phase in a relationship that can make you feel like you've hit the jackpot. This is why so many men get caught up with strippers because most men are driven by sex and lust. But eventually the lust wears off, eventually the dust settles, and the mechanics of what can make or break a relationship take over. And those mechanics are the balance of power and respect in a relationship. And a lot of women and many men uh, like to live in delusion, fairy tales, and fiction. And they want and need to believe that the sexual chemistry and the intensity that you experience at the beginning of a relationship somehow make for a great foundation for a marriage or long-term commitment. But sex is one thing and marriage and respect is another. And that's what today's video is all about because so many women particularly black women, do not understand what drives men. Uh, a man is driven by his desire for power, his desire for success, and, his, uh, and he is driven by his fragile masculinity and his ego. Uh, ladies, men do not like to feel tiny, Men do not like to feel small. Men do not like to be thought of as weak. Men do not like to feel inferior. Men do not like to feel like a child or like children. Uh, men do not like to feel like a sidekick. Men do not like to be co-pilots and men do not like to play second fiddle. Uh, men do not like uh, do not like living in a woman's shadow and men do not like to be in the passenger seat. Now, a few months back, uh, one of my earliest videos, I made a video on house husband and abusive caretaker, Dan Gatsby and his beautiful wife, entrepreneur and successful businesswoman, uh, retired businesswoman, B. Smith. And the video struck a chord because so many women do not realize how much a man can resent you for the very same reason he was drawn to you in the first place. And the same thing happened with Wendy Williams and her husband, Kelvin Hunter, and the same thing happened with Mary J. Blige and her ex-husband, uh, Ken Don't Isaacs. Uh, these Freddie freeloader men uh, seek out these powerful women who wear the pants. Uh, they seek out these women who are competitive, they're talented and driven and extremely successful, and they have the lifestyle and the money to match. And these men come into these women's lives, sometimes as users and opportunists, and sometimes because they really uh, believe and feel like they can handle being in the passenger seat. Uh, they get access to the lifestyle and they think that they can handle 
all that comes with the territory of being married to a visibly powerful woman. Uh, but most men cannot handle being the sidekick for long. Uh, most men cannot play the position of being in the shadows and their egos cannot handle being rendered invisible because they are men and men have egos and pride. So after lust fades and the delusion of house husband wears off, all of a sudden the perks of a lavish lifestyle for a man who didn't earn it himself is like having the walls close in on him. All of a sudden these men who are married to powerful women feel like victims and what do victims do? They retaliate and they want revenge and these emasculated men always end up punishing these women for being the boss and wearing the pants and they will cheat and they will lie and they will steal your money and they will drive your car to flatter and impress the next woman to recuperate their fragile manhood. Uh, listen ladies, I am not hitting on Nicki Minaj or her current happiness. Uh, Nicki is the queen of rap, Nicki is a legend and Nicki is gorgeous. But I will forever say this on my channel, a man is at his best when he is in the driver's seat. A man is at his best when he feels needed. A man is at his best when he is the hero. And a man is at his best when he has built a legacy of his own. And a man is at his worst when he feels inadequate, uh, impotent, and powerless. And a lot of pick me women and 50-50 women and women with dust bunny mindsets do not get that. And these are the very same women who always encourage other women to ruin their lives because misery loves company. A lot of pick me women and dust bunnies try to dupe themselves into believing that role reversal should work because a man should love the idea of coasting and being a kept man and being provided for. And yes, a lot of dusty dudes and opportunistic men uh, absolutely have no problem using a woman for sex and her resources. Uh, let's be clear, a low life will take whatever you give him. But the funny thing about being a kept man is uh, an even funnier thing called resentment, uh, especially when a woman is in a hypogamous situation where she is the breadwinner. A lot of women uh, come to my channel and are not aware of how resentful and bitter a man can get when he is emasculated. So many independent and strong women are doing all of the heavy lifting and taking all of the credit and paying to secure their man's lifestyle and allowing their man to borrow money that they will never get back. And they are so unaware of how emasculated men feel when they are not in a position to lead. And a lot of men think that they can handle being taken care of, uh, which should also show you that a lot of men don't know who they are as men, and a lot of men don't know uh, their role as men. But masculinity, ladies, is super fragile. And ladies, you cannot purchase love, you cannot buy love, and you cannot give your man fake respect and fake admiration. Men are not dumb. Uh, respect is a vibe, right? A whole vibe. Uh, they know the difference between when a woman respects and admires them and when a desperate woman is trying to buy loyalty. A uh, respect is how a man uh, nourishes his ego in a relationship. So a man can never truly ever be bought. He will be on lease, but he can never be bought. Uh, be bought. Now, I also want to speak on why women tend to marry and date men who are beneath them, and a lot of women do this, because they want to have control. Uh, the term is called backleading. Uh, many women want to be in a position where they are pulling all of the puppet strings because a lot of women are insecure, they don't see themselves as the prize, and they are afraid, uh, deathly afraid, of being abandoned. So they've duped themselves into the fiction that a man can be controlled and that love and loyalty can be bought, and they get with these weak men because weak men, at first glance, uh, seem easier to control. That is, until it backfires, because weak men are the most problematic because they are usually the men who have nothing to lose. So to my viewers, you cannot control a man, you cannot control his destiny, and you cannot control his free will. And you cannot rob him of his masculinity or back lead, uh, because he's, all he's going to do is uh, to 
uh, all he's going to do uh, to recuperate his manhood is rebel uh, because he will feel trapped like a dog on a short lease by the woman who is back uh, who is bankrolling uh, his lifestyle. And when he rebels, because he will, all he's going to do is blame you and find someone younger and naive who, who he can flatter and impress. And another small but big thing, a lot of women who marry uh, and date beneath themselves put themselves in this downgrade position and they end up engineering themselves to be small and making themselves low-hanging fruit to preserve their man's fragile ego. Because trust and believe, being the boss of your man uh, triggers a lot of insecurities uh, within men. And, you know, it causes a lot of power struggles and screaming matches and knock out drag down fights. Uh, ladies and the men who are listening, uh, who are ear hustling, uh, masculinity is fragile and it needs to create its own recognition because men intrinsically know that they are supposed to be leaders, especially when it comes to the role of husband in a marriage. Now we all know that Nikki's fiance, Kenneth Petty, has a crazy rap sheet for some pretty serious offenses that I won't even mention in this video. But this man has a proven checkered past, and of course, just on the strength of his checkered past alone, he will be chronically unemployed and underemployed due to his prison record. Now, a lot of you seem to think that marrying a man who has nothing to lose is okay, when in fact it is one of the most dangerous things an accomplished woman can do, because women are murdered every day by men who have nothing to lose. But this dust bunny logic only tells me that many women do not understand what makes a man a man. Now, in Nikki's case, uh, yes, her fiance has known her before the fame. Yes, her fiance is a familiar place for her. And yes, Nikki is in love and digmatized. And yes, Nikki doesn't mind buying him clothes and kicks and splurging on her man and propping him up to make him look good and make him look like her equal. And yes, uh, if she's making a mistake, then it's her mistake to make. Yes, it is her life. And right now, you know, Nikki is talking tough and being defensive, and she's no different from the women that come on this channel, chihuahua barking and being triggered because thug love and dusty love and hood dysfunction is not on this channel's menu. But we all have that one friend who's going to do what they want to do in spite of the glaring red flags that are right in front of them. Uh, that is life. However, Kenneth Petty, no matter how you slice it, is getting his hashtag city boy summer ultimate come up because the gap between who Nikki is as a global pop star and icon and a man who is uh, a convicted felon fresh out of the pen is as wide as the Red Sea. And just to play a devil's advocate, a Kenneth Petty may have good intentions. He may really be in love with Nikki. He may really want to protect Nikki, Nikki, and maybe he doesn't even see the money and the lifestyle. And Nikki may be able to accept thug passion uh, Kenneth Petty and the child support payments that comes with uh, being with this man, but the world will clown him, okay? And society will bag on him and make him feel uh, insignificant and small. And Nikki's circle will whisper about him behind her back. And when they take photos on the red carpet together, he will have to step to the side because society will not respect him and society will make him feel invisible. And he will feel the disrespect and the devaluation that comes with the position of being in Nikki's shadow. And when a man is constantly in a woman's shadow, he will feel humiliated. It will eat away at him and it will erode him at his core and chew on his fragile, uh, his fragile uh, masculinity like a dog with a bone. And there will be nothing that Nikki can do to stop it. So that's all I have to say on this for now. He who owns the gold makes the rules and men do not like to be ruled by women. Now I know that uh, Nikki wants a baby and that Nikki wants a kin to her Barbie and that at 36 years old, uh, Nikki's biological clock is now a four alarm fire and she wants 
her happy ending by any means necessary. But ladies, uh, love and respect cannot be bought. Uh, men are not puppets to be manipulated and controlled, and they are not built to be battery-operated dildos. Uh, men come with egos and a fragile masculinity that will always seek respect. So you cannot marry a man and give him a job. You cannot marry a man and give him an allowance to buy J's and Air Force Ones, and you certainly do not marry someone because you are digmatized, because eventually the sugar mama lust will wear off and it will come with some pretty uh, painful and serious consequences. Uh, men, in spite of what they say and what they think they can handle, do not want to be co-pilots because in the end, they pay the price with their masculinity and it will be your hell as a hypogamous woman to endure. Uh, so stay tuned for more videos to come and I will catch up with you in the next one.